Galloping flat out across the Montana plains. Come on, Dad. It's like a scene out of the old TV show Bonanza. But this is no Hollywood fantasy. This is what you get to do when you come to Bonanza Creek Ranch. 25,000 acres of wide open country and a real working cattle ranch. We're moving cows up on the Lewis and Clark National Forest. So this is called Dry Fork. And the next one we'll go to is Coach Pond. And then we'll move them up the hill from there. On a perfect summer day, owner June Voltseth leads our group of just 10 guests as we head out for a day of working cattle on a ranch that's been in the family since 1877. It's a real experience. There's nothing that's made up. It's a bona fide cattle ranch that's been in the family a long time, and that appeals to a lot of people. I like it. No nose to tell riding here, and as we go to find the cow-calf pairs we need to round up and move, there's time to have a little fun along the way, as Wrangler Annie leads us on a nice long lope. This is a riding ranch, and Bonanza Creek only takes an intermediate and advanced riders. Good riders like to ride with good riders. Uh, it's hard to beat, that's for sure. This week that includes Thorsten and Stephanie Erickson and their friend Sophia, who own their own horses and ride English style back home in Sweden. So this western riding is all new to me. This will have to be my last riding trip because I could never top this. It's a small group. The ranch only takes 8 to 12 guests at a time. I like people, but I'm not too crazy about crowds, so the 8 to 12 guests is just right. I work for Checkerboard, which is just over the hill here. We arrive at the big section where the cattle are, where we meet two cowboys from the neighboring checkerboard ranch. Oh, we doctor two today. Okay. Yes, just kind of looking around. They're here to look in on the checkerboard cows that share the same pasture as June's cattle. You cowboy a lot of months. different places, or? A lot of places, yep. Arizona, New Mexico, a uh, little bit in Nevada, California. Fellow hired hand Dennis Clemenson has been cowboying all over the American West for the last 40 years. What do you like best about cowboying? Oh, when I was younger, it was the running and roping. Now it's just kind of being away from people and things like that. So, but I'll get up here and make sure these cows go the right direction. Okay, good right. to meet you. You too. So uh, around this corner, there's a there's a, a hill up there, and we'll move the cattle up that hill. But we'll gather them. Um, We'll just kind of drop these there and then we'll gather them. There's another coolie up there and another one that way and we'll gather all the cattle together and head them up the hill. Find the cows and move them out. Sounds simple enough. They stop at the trees and they won't go further. But it's not quite that easy. Get moving here. Go. Woo. She said we missed the road and we needed to get them up that way. Let's just collect them and try that road then. Well, it's the Wild West, huh? It takes a while, but nobody's in a hurry. We finally get the cows gathered into one group. There's a lot of cows out there. <laughs> and our mini cattle drive gets underway. As we push the herd up a hill, and into the next pasture. Fun stuff, even for those who get to do it every day. I love moving cows. Mm. <laughs> Our mission accomplished. We'll take a break for lunch, then head back to the ranch. Later, we take a side trip to the nearby ghost town of Castletown, the real Old West. A fascinating place to see and imagine what it was like here back in the day. What you doing, you little guy? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, another treat, border collie pups, an added bonus to cap off a magnificent day in Montana. As the sun rises on another day in paradise, we're in for a different kind of ride. No cow work today, just a nice long trail ride. 27 miles. We're lucking out once again with the weather as we head out into another perfect summer day, guided by June's brother-in-law, Larry. Now you can look back and see why your horse is sweating a little bit. Wow. Quite a climb. You have the horses to do it, though. We do have the horses to do it. Many of which are registered quarter horses 
and striking American paint horses. Up here in the high country, oh, what a field up here. the views are spectacular. It's a good view of the ranch from here. If you see those trees going down where there's a creek bottom down there, that's a, called Cottonwood Creek. But the ranch goes just this side of Cottonwood Creek. Bonanza Creek is surrounded by mountains. We're in the north end of the crazies. That's the big belts up there with the snow. That's called Old Baldy. These are the Castle Mountains behind us. This high elevation is where the elk spend their summer, and along the trail we come across a curious young elk calf. Then maybe the mommy's there around here somewhere. Okay, there's some elk right there. I can oh, look at oh, look at that. Later we spot an entire herd of elk off in the distance. Huh. Quite a sight. All part of a great long day horseback, including some nice long lopes as well. This wide open country is the perfect place to unwind, relax. This is what you need. Yeah. Days out in the, uh, in the open. And perhaps reflect on the trail your life has taken, or whether you need a course correction. In recent years, Bonanza Creek has been hosting a growing number of retreats for women, couples, and other groups, helping people to discover and fulfill their potential. The sage, it just smells so good. It's pure aromatherapy. But any day at this ranch is therapeutic, inspiring, and just plain fun. Like our wagon ride out to the ranch hunting camp for an outdoor dinner, where we spotted a herd of antelope along the way. That's as close as we'll get to it. The trip even included the chance to learn how to drive the team. Keep them in the middle. Okay, so slide your hands there. There you go. Larry's been driving horse-drawn wagons since he was in high school. I told my dad, I said, gee, I'd like to learn how to drive a team while everybody's, somebody's still alive that knows how about it. So we had a couple saddle horses and we hooked them up and I learned to drive. I've had teams ever since. He makes it look easy, but it's not. No, it's hard. Fun though, so, huh? It's fun. Yeah, cool. Yeah, very fun. Oh, there, a little face. A little face. Yeah. Or you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. What do you see? A the face. face. <laughs> Small stone face. Sure is pretty out here in wide open Montana. Enjoying life, lots of laughter as the sun goes down. <laughs> Whether it's on the wagon, sitting on a horse, or at the long lodge dinner table, laughter is always part of the soundtrack here. And one night, some guitar as well. June's husband, David, is quite the musician as well. Might never be cross. Talented man with a great spirit, whose wheelchair you barely notice. This is the hand I've been dealt, so I have to deal with it. And there's different ways to deal with it. Some people give up and some don't. I was one of those that didn't. David was injured in a tractor accident in the 1980s. He still runs the ranch, but from a four-wheeler and a pickup truck instead of a horse. It hasn't slowed me down that much because I'm a hard-headed Norwegian. I never give up. <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that. <laughs> I know every engineer on every train. Farm Journal magazine once did a story on David called Ranching from a New Perspective. Chances are you'll discover a new perspective when you come to Bonanza Creek. The attitude and the atmosphere is contagious. Whether it's soaking in the scenery, enjoying new friends, a fast ride on a great horse, or a quiet retreat, you can't help but leave here refreshed. I'm sorry to leave tomorrow. And grateful for the chance to experience this magnificent part of the American West. Recharged for whatever may lie ahead on the trail. Till we meet. Oh.